We've got a nice little break from the rain here. You can see it in seven super Doppler, unless you're on the immediate south shore of Lake Ontario. You're still dealing with the rain. Taking a look at the temperature, 74 is where we made it. We're supposed to be at 50 for a whole 20 degrees higher. And your overnight lows, 46 as opposed to 35 mild. And we've got another mild night ahead. Let's take a look at the temperatures right now. More mild. I mean, we're still in the 60s. Bradford almost at 70 degrees. And those winds are coming out of the south, bringing more of that mild air with it. Tonight, those lows are going to be in the upper 50s to low 60s. We have a break from the showers right now, but you'll see some more. In fact, let me show you what that looks like on the future cast. So you're going to see them right before 7, well, right at the 7 o'clock hour. There's around Long Point. They're going to make their way through the area. Look what happens at noon, though. Do you see that kind of slice through the clouds? Well, the winds have changed as well. That front's making its way through, and it's going to be quite breezy, but it's blowing those clouds right out of the way, giving us lots of sunshine. By 11 p.m., you've got a stray shower around the Buffalo metro area. It's going to make its way around the throughway and then into the lake not being a problem for us. In the morning on Friday, it looks like it's going to be a nice day. It is a bit gusty and it's going to be gusty on Thursday and Friday. Your wind gusts up to 45 miles an hour. Just to give you a little note there. By noon though, things change. The clouds have increased and you're seeing some scattered showers. It's going to be gusty and you'll see some more of those scattered showers into the evening hours and an overnight. And you saw those yellows and some of those showers. So some of those showers will be a little bit on the moderate side. Did you see what happens? I'll show you what that looks like in the seven day. We'll get more into that. But you've got a Buffalo Sabres game tomorrow. Temperature's not bad. It's going to be gusty, but at least you'll have some sunshine when you're walking to the arena. Now let's look at the super seven day. We're talking about Thursday, right? Mild, but here's the catch. There's a catch here. Those temps, the 60s are in the beginning of the day. That front's gonna come through and quickly drop those temperatures into the upper 40s. But at least you'll see the rain in the first part of the day. Friday, you'll see some scattered showers for your good Friday and gusty breezes. And then it's a little breezy on Saturday, but for Passover, you're looking at those temperatures and you're like, Michelle, what is that icon there? Well, there it is. You're seeing that rain, snow, wet snow around the metro area. It meanders further south as you go throughout the afternoon and the evening. Not done with it yet. And here's the thing. Your low on Saturday going into Sunday is going to be 31 degrees. So you can expect to see more of that wintry mixed transition into your Easter Sunday. Then we go into Monday seeing some of those showers on Tuesday. Look at it again, folks. We've got that 30 in the morning and then going to the 40s by the afternoon, but we're still not out of the weeds when it comes to some winter precipitation. But as soon as it comes in on Tuesday, it's going to leave because Wednesday is in the 50s.